so this is the second video of octave basics so here we'll first learn about an important thing that we missed there in the last video that is element wise operations so for any element wise operations you need to write like this a dot star b or sorry that was gonna say a dot star b for element wise multiplication plus b for element wise addition although you don't need to do that because addition is always element wise and similarly divide or you can write exponent or any operation you do with a dot it's done element wise okay so we have two uh, variables a and b that we created in the last video so if you want to see all the variables that are already created we use the command who and we get the comma uh, variables a answer b c and d okay now if you want um, uh, let's see what's in a and in b so if you want element wise multiplication of a and b we'll write a dot star b and we get element wise multiplication w the first element of a first row first column of a is multiplied with first row first column of b and similarly second row third column of a is multiplied with second row third column of b so we get the result okay now if we want to generate a random numbers we use the function called rand then enter the size 3 comma 4 or you can also use rand n to get uh, numbers from Gaussian distribution 3 comma 3 okay and uh, rand al always generates number from 0 to 1 uh, okay now we'll talk about max uh, row wise max column wise max and matrix wise max to get a column wise max let's uh, we can just write max and the matrix a and it gives me the column wise maximum to get the row wise maximum we need to do a we need to put in a bit more effort write a then square matrix then two whenever we want to do any operation row wise we need to put two whenever we want to do any operation column wise either we don't have to put anything like max a or if we want to put something then put one okay except for the size function in size function size one gives the number of rows and size two gives the number of columns so that's it let's press enter and i get the maximum column uh, row wise okay now let's find the sum of the elements of array of matrix a so if i put sum a i get the sum column wise okay if i want the sum row wise i'll put sum a comma two and I get the sum column wise you can check it uh, sorry row wise a comma 2 gives me the sum row wise so uh, you can check it okay now if I want the sum in a uh, uh, sum of all the diagonal elements then what we can do is we can use identity matrix so identity matrix can be created using I so let's create a square matrix first and it will be called d so d is equal to uh, let's say 1 2 3 then 11 12 13 then sorry uh, 22 23 and 24 that's my d okay now what i have to do uh, i have to get the diagonal wise summation so for that I'll write x is equal to sum of sum of d element wise multiplication with identity of size 3 by 3 one more bracket yeah that's okay press enter and I get the summation 24 plus 12 plus 1 30 6 plus 137 so that's all